Burning eyes and upset stomachs. Neighbors in Tampa's University area say they've had problems like this and they think their drinking water is to blame. Community groups will meet with those neighbors to talk about the issue tonight. And ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills found out why that meeting could lead to a fix. In this Tampa neighborhood, community leaders say it's been a problem for years. They say dirty, potentially unsafe drinking water has plagued the university area. The water and the sewer problems in this community, like I said, we've been working on these for years. So while this isn't a surprise to us, um, you know, we certainly feel for these residents. Sarah Combs is the CEO of the University Area Community Development Corporation, a group that says neighbors have complained that the well water here has burned their eyes, given them infections and even made them nauseous when showering. More recently, the group says some water has been diluted with sand. And this latest round of problems for some renters out of apartments on Holly Court to temporary homes. Unfortunately, the situation with Holly Court is, is such an unfortunate one. But discussing solutions will be the focus of a dinner meeting Tuesday night. Combs says USF researchers who've been studying the water will share what they've found to help them figure out what the problem is now before talking about how to solve it. The good news to Combs, $5 million in federal stimulus funds from the American Rescue Plan will help fund a program that should help improve water quality here. We're looking at about um, a three square mile radius. Um, that's the that's the area that we're focusing on through this funding, through this sewer and water connection program. The free dinner and meeting start at 5 p.m. at the Harvest Hope Center on North 20th Street. An RSVP is recommended, but not required. And you can RSVP on the University Area CDC website, which we'll link you to this morning on our website, abcactionnews.com. Live in Tampa, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.